Good morning, welcome to another delicious edition of Texas Oatmeal. And today, we're gonna to talk about the things you need to carry in your trunk. Yes, the junk in your trunk. Let's get into it. Okay, so what I'm talking about is the stuff that I keep in the back storage area in the death trike. This is the stuff that I suggest everyone carries. If you flip your seat forward and get in there, it's a little dirty because uh, I haven't vacuumed in there in a long time. But usually I keep this jam packed full of stuff. So to show you guys what I keep uh, in the vehicle, because we've had this come up on some of the Vanderhall forums quite a few times. Like, what do you carry with you? Like, what are the things you gotta have? When you're driving your van here because it's a little different you can't pull this thing into like a normal repair shop i mean you can if you have a repair shop that's not scared of the thing um but typically you're more or less kind of on your own or with your other van der Hall people that you're riding with to repair this thing out on the road we've been really lucky i say lucky we've had a lot of things happen on a lot of our drives uh because our group really drives these things. Like we drive them cross country. If you've seen any of my videos, you know, we've gone on many, many hour road trips, uh, a couple days to get there, lots of driving when you're there, a couple days back, lots of long road trips in the now four years that I've owned this vehicle. Um, but there are things that I keep on me for, for repairs that I need to do to my car. And then of course, you know, you stop and somebody needs help with something and you've got tools to help somebody. Um, so these are all the things that I keep in the back storage area of my Vander Hall, plus a couple little uh, Allen wrenches and stuff that actually go in my glove box that I can get to real quickly for going around and tightening up all the random screws that like to back off, uh, that like to back out on your Vander Hall, uh, which all these are just the same basically everything's the same bolt holding all your panels and stuff on uh, so I keep a spare just in the glove box but this is all the stuff that's stored in the back that I like to have on hand just in case of emergencies and a few things that I use all the time that are just thrown back there if you have the storage some people fill their storage with subwoofers and an amp and everything else back there and they don't have the storage to keep all this stuff back there I'm not a big stereo guy. I replaced the stock speakers in it. Very first thing I did, one of the very first mods I ever did to the thing. I threw some kickers in there. I can't tell you the last time I turned on the switch to turn on the radio. Uh, I run Bluetooth uh, earbuds when I'm driving. I like that sound because it's clear, crisp sound that I get the whole time and hearing protection for when you're driving down the road. So I don't ever turn my radio on. So I never put any subs in the back. So this is all the stuff I've got in the back. Let me show you what that is. So first thing first, uh, this little hyper tough bag, it's just a little bitty thing, you know, only, I don't know what size it is, but just a little tool bag that I picked up years ago. This little tool bag is uh, the big thing that's back there that takes up kind of a lot of room, uh, other than one other thing you'll see here in a second. Um, but this guy carries like all the odds and ends stuff that I really um, don't get to very often, but are super important to have in your vehicle. So let's go through that real quick because there's a lot in here. <clears throat> okay, so first thing I'm going to just pull this stuff out one at a time and kind of go through it quickly because I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch me do this for 10 minutes. Uh, first thing that's really important is an air inflator, tire inflator. Uh, this is, runs on 12 volts, got the cord that tucks into the bottom of it here. Pretty compact. Stanley bought it at, I think, Walmart or something. Um, but super simple digital controls. Uh, pop it on the 12 volt, tell it what um, PSI you want your tires up to, hook it on, shuts off when it gets to that PSI. Super easy, 12 volt air compressor, uh, 12 volt jump pack. Uh, but these are 12 volt little jump pack starters. Uh, so you hook that onto your battery um, and plug this in here. And you can jump the car if your battery's dead off of these little things. You can do it like a couple times because our batteries aren't super big. Um, and this is a pretty big uh, output. Yeah, this is 38 watt hours. Uh, if you do the math, you can start your car several times on that, typically if you need to, with something like this. So super good to have. 
Okay, so this little guy, a little random box that I've got. This is actually where I order the stickers that we do for the club, where I do little giveaways and stuff uh, from Rock and Monkey. This is not where I keep my stickers. This keeps a ton of random little parts, right? I've got little stick-on uh, rubber bumpers you'd have on like a cabinet. I've used those several times to quiet different parts down so that they're not rattling around. Um, that's another hinge for my front guns. And then I've got bags of like little screw assortments and little tools. This is like extra screws and the tools that it takes to do uh, my cage for the door for the death trike. These are a bunch of random six millimeter nuts and some cage nuts and the stock little cheap, whatever these clips are, or whatever that hold some of the parts on just in case you need those. So random stuff to just hold body panels on. And then other little odds and ends, lots of rivets uh, to redo any rivets that I might need to add to the car, to the cage, which obviously you wouldn't do that. And then a whole bunch of different length, six millimeter screws, some other little Allen wrenches, little things like that. Um, just little odds and ends that I keep. Um, that I've used all of these sizes in the past for the death track at some point, whether it was my own modifications or just stock things that needed, or the stock parts that I know like, okay, these things come off or we lose bolts or nuts or screws or whatever. This is all of that stuff in a small box. So just random assortment of different nuts, washers, bolts, you know, what have you. So basically, as I work on the car throughout the years, I've been like, ooh, I really need some of those and a little bit a little bit longer bolt, or I need some extra nuts because that came off or whatever. I've just thrown extra stuff in this little box so that I have it. Uh, the all important lubrication for lubing all of the suspension components that start to squeak on these things. You never know when they're gonna start squeaking. This is not the one I use all the time that I keep here in this in the the garage. This is just some other stuff that I found that works that I got, I think, for free from somewhere. I don't know, TriFlow Superior Lubricant. I don't know what it's really for, but it works when I need it to work every now and then. Um, this is silicone tape. Uh, it's self-fusing, so as you stretch it and wrap it around itself, it sticks to itself. Uh, I've used this to repair my CV joint that I did early, early on. This worked kind of good. I mean, it wasn't the best thing ever, but it wasn't bad. It's definitely good to have on hand. I didn't have it on hand when we needed to repair a hole in one of the radiator hoses the other day. And if we had, this would have worked because this does plumbing for like hoses or plumbing fixtures under your sink uh, or wrapping tools or whatever you want to wrap with this stuff. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, so I keep this on hand. I should keep it on hand. And for some reason, it wasn't in there the other day when I actually needed it. Um, a tire repair kit. Uh, if you get a nail or a screw or something in your tire, you yank that out and you plug the tire with these, um, these are tar or something, uh, plugs and they hold great. I've actually repaired several tires and never had them taken to a shop to repair them properly. I just use this and it works amazingly. So having that on hand and of course your tire inflator to go with that. And then there's some random tools in here, a pair of side cutters, uh, just random pliers, uh, bigger set of pliers, random knife, uh, zip ties of a different assortment, you know, different lengths, because, you know, zip ties are important, of course. Uh, the spanner wrench for adjusting your shocks. If you need to make an adjustment on them, you're riding a little low and you want to raise it up or something. Uh, not super critical unless you have a jack or some way to get the suspension off the ground so that you can make this adjustment, but there have been times when we've needed it on on the road and we have had a jack with us. Uh, I got a random bag of super glue, rubber cement, and alcohol to clean stuff up and then re-glue things. Uh, just you never know. Again, that's how I repaired the CV boot when I needed to. I used this kind of stuff along with the wrap tape uh, to repair that CV boot. I've never had to do it again, thankfully. Uh, random screwdrivers, a flathead, and a Phillips. And a little bag of extra fuses. These are the sizes that go in the Vander Hall. They're little bitty micro fuses. I've got a whole little bag of those, although I never needed them. Okay, and then this guy. Uh, just a really good heavy duty ratchet with the appropriate size to fit uh, the wheel adapter, the, the lug adapter that's in the back of the Vander Hall. Um, just so that if I need to take the 
tire off or whatever, I've got something to do that because uh, we know we don't have a tire iron in the back of the manor hall. So that's everything in the bag. Okay, so keeping with the tool theme, uh, I've got this little cheap Walmart Hyper Tough brand uh, little socket set. Uh, every now and then you need a socket or you need some weird bit. Uh, again, like the little 5 30 second bit that we use to tighten all the bolts. I've got that stuff in here, crescent wrench, you know, things like that. Just the standard kit that it came with. I hardly ever use this, but every now and then I've needed something out of here. Just good to have a basic, very, very basic mechanic set on hand because you never know. So that little tool kit just sits. I usually put this underneath that bag in the back of the Vander Hall. All right, this very Chinese made Auto Hawks, Auto Hoss, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a motorcycle cover. It's an extra large motorcycle cover that I found on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, I throw it back there. I keep this one on me all the time if I'm not toting around my big full cover. because This will cover basically just the cabin. Um, this will cover any Vanderhall, including ones that have full tops on them. For the most part, for 20 bucks, it's a good thing to have just in case you want to keep the rain out mostly uh, or just keep people out or just have some sense of security to have some kind of small cover. Uh, this is not as good as like the Vanderhall specific storm covers that they sell, but obviously those are very expensive. This is 20 bucks. And then this little guy, Immersion Real Virtual Reality RC Fat Shark. I know none of that means anything. I don't know why it's labeled any of that. This is a chair because when we go to the shows, car show, whatever, or you're just on the side of the road and need to have a place to sit. I got a little fold-up chair that sits in the back of the car. I keep this with me all the time, actually, back there. And I use it all the time. Let me show you how it goes together. All right, so super little bitty chair. And it is, and I'm telling you, it's pretty perfect. It is super tiny. Uh, I don't know what weight it will hold, but I'm almost... I'm like 170, 180 pounds, depending on what I've had to eat for the day. Uh, and it works great. Good little chair, super simple. You can adjust the height that it sits at, although that is the tallest height. Super little simple chair. That thing's been awesome. And of course, last but not least, your favorite car detailer and a good microfiber rag. I actually carry a little bitty bottle of uh, Windex or whatever windshield cleaner and a small um, shop towel up in the cab of the car because I use that to wash the windshield off so I do that a lot too but I store this in the back. So when you get to a show or wherever you're going you wipe your car off. Super important. Okay so that's it. That's the stuff I carry in the back of the Vanderhall. Hopefully you've got room for all this stuff in your Vanderhall if you don't have a bunch of subs or something back there. Uh, but definitely important stuff to have. I've used it a lot, I've saved some other people from disaster out on the road with this stuff. Among other things that we've had, like the Chad or Hank or some other people have carried with them as well. So this is not everything you need, but it is a good start to get going. And again, all fits in the back with a little bit of room to spare. I even had some extras in our Deadwood trip that I threw back there. I mean, you got plenty of room back there for all this. So hopefully this helps you if you're new to the Vanderhall world and you're wondering what you want to carry back there. This is all good stuff to have. So that's gonna be it for today. We'll see you next time. Peace. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here.